lot of institutional investors were clearly uh, expecting the BJP's resurgence to be to be gathering momentum, but that's unlikely the case right now with the rise of the AAP. Somehow the rise of the AAP is seen uh, in very negative light. Uh, what do you make of it? Yes, I agree. I mean, I agree with the sentiment in the sense that your fractured opposition um, has not been good news in terms of the way in which certainly foreign investors look at it, I, I'm sure domestically as well. But there is still some weeks, uh, if not months, until the election. Uh, we still have to see from AAP their uh, kind of promises in terms of uh, economic change. And I think as we get clarity on that, I think that gives the electorate a greater opportunity to understand what each of these individual parties will bring. And if uh, we find that both the AAP and BJP are pointing in the same direction in terms of uh, economic reform, I think people will be encouraged back into the markets again. I think foreign investors, you know, will, will give this time. I don't think there's going to be any desperate rush to take decisions against India um, in the coming weeks. Hey, give me just a word about uh, what you've heard from Arvind Kejriwal so far as well. Uh, while we're talking about uh, the rise of the BJP and so on, do you believe, in a sense, that the AAP is sort of stretched far too thin? Uh, some of the policy announcements that, that, the, that Arvind Kejriwal and team have made have rattled free market advocates. Uh, do you think this is, this is going to sort of boomerang uh, even before this party actually gets its national agenda in place? No, I, I don't think it will boomerang on the party uh, in the short run. Uh, but uh, uh, you have to consider that the kind of policies that Mr. Kejriwal uh, is, uh, is, uh, um, uh, is introducing, uh, uh, he can continue in the same, uh, same way, provided uh, the Delhi government has uh, its coffers as full as uh, Sheila Dixit had left it behind. So you, to, to sustain that kind of uh, uh, so those policies, you need, need uh, a better uh, economic administration mm. uh, and better revenue collection um, uh, record. Sure. Now, I don't, I don't know whether the kind of policies that he's talking about, the kind of economic uncertainties uh, he is, uh, he's, he's created, uh, you will see uh, uh, too many economic gains uh, uh, for the government uh, to finance the kind of populist measures that he is trying to introduce. Uh, right. So in the short term, uh, he will still be considered a, a political hero. Right. But uh, in the medium to long term, uh, he may well be a disaster.